Idolatry is common to fallen man. Okay, one of the things while they were up there, while Moses was up there getting instruction from God, one of the things that God said to him, don't you tell the people, don't make any idols. idols. Don't make any images. graven images. Graven images. And there they are, the people of God down at the bottom of the mountain, and they're making graven images. And here it's still going on. And you want to know something? It's still going on. This was a big issue. I don't think most people, most Christians are aware of the tension, the trials, the tribulations, and the problems that existed in the early, uh, not, in the, not in the early church in times, of biblical times, mm -hmm. but thereafter, when the church started to make all kinds of graven images. I, I'm telling you, it's created all kinds of problems. One, I think it was I, Emperor Leo. Um, I can't get my dates right here. But he, in a reform move in the church, mm -hmm. wanted to do away with all of the images, the, the, the images that had been established in the church. And basically, you're talking about the Roman church at that point, mm -hmm. or, or the Orthodox in the East. And the Pope excommunicated him, or threatened to excommunicate him for wanting to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay? God never intended that we worship mm -hmm. or spend our time at a statue mm -hmm. or, or a graven image. I, I, I'm telling you the truth. Mm -hmm. If you can't deal with that, hey, that's between you and the Lord, okay? Because even then, Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar. Because he had them create that, but he had told them to destroy it. Alice is that talking about an time. event in the wilderness when, because of the disobedience of the people, mm -hmm. God had snakes were coming out in the wilderness and they were biting the people, and the people are dying mm -hmm. left and right. So God told Moses and Aaron to, to make a graven serpent, okay, a bronze serpent, and hold it up. And when the people looked at that, they were healed, okay? And you say, well, he's telling them, they weren't worshiping it. No, they were just looking upon it. And the reason was, this was a foreshadowing of the eternal truth, Jesus. all right? Because they were looking at the very thing that, killed that, was, that had been, now it's being lifted up. And they're looking up at the very thing that was bringing death to them. Right. Now, when Jesus is put upon the cross, remember, it says it was sin that was nailed to that cross. He became sin. He became sin, right? So he, looking up at Jesus on the cross, you're looking at the only thing that can save you from sin. But later on, the people are still carrying this brazen serpent. And God rebukes them for it. Because it was never meant to be something to be carried around and, and bowed down before, okay? It had a purpose for a moment. There's an appointed time for everything. Once that purpose is over, God is not into graven images, graven images right? Let me, let me just read this, because Bethel, and the, the, what was created at Bethel, and was proclaimed as true religion, right, competing with Jerusalem, was there to satisfy the desires of the people. Because he says, still the people of God, and there is an inherent, inbred need and desire. God formed the people to declare his praise, right? So they have to, and Jeroboam politically doesn't want them going down to Jerusalem. So he sets up an alternative. Do you know that there's plenty of alternative religion within the church? Okay, I'm just, Exodus 32, 1 to 4. I'm just going to read that account now. When the people saw that Moses delayed to come down from the mountain, the people ascended about Aaron and said to him, Come, make us a God who will go before us. As for this Moses, the man who brought us up from the land of Egypt, we do not know what has become of him. Aaron said to them, Tear off the gold rings which are in the ears of your wives, your sons, and your daughters, and bring them to me. Then all the people tore off the gold rings which were in their ears and brought them to Aaron. He took this from their hand and fashioned it with a graving tool and made it into a molten calf. And they said, this is your God, O Israel, who brought you up from the land of Egypt. Ooh. It was not. No, it was not. And when Moses confronts him, he says, well, you know, I'm paraphrasing. You, okay. He says, well. We just threw the gold in and out popped this calf. That's, that's what he says. Because when you're in sin, you're stupid. Okay?